everybody and welcome back to I am the killer so we just left off with um, of course learning that we are the ones who pushed your Yuki over the edge uh, thus killing her um, although one of our friends seems to be a little bit suspicious of our absence during the party last night so we have to do something about that <laughs> yeah we need to silence him so, you know, let's just hop right back in there and figure out what we can do to shut him up. The first day. Four days until the police arrive. Shortly after Kanazawa thrust out onto me. Okay. Second Kanazawa. You leave the suspicion of everyone to the police. I've called the police. Everyone, just once more, can you all return to your room, please? Tonight, we should all gather again here in the living room to discuss what has happened to- okay? If you have something to say, you can say it then. Alki is composed as he leaves the room, and once more, we will each return to our rooms. Our trip seems to be put on hold for the meantime. This torrential rain pelts the cottage until the way out is completely flooded. Until the cliff dries, it looks like we're stuck here for the next four days. The police too can't get here until then as well. The police can rush all they want until the four days have, pa have passed. Tonight at the meeting, Kanazawa is going to say that I am the murderer. I must find a way to stop him from doing that. All right, we need to expose Kanazawa's secret. So I see a little pinhead here in the living room. Oh, it's Alki. It's Alki. Looks like he's talking on the phone. I can't hear what he's saying though. Okay, so I guess we'll come back. Uh, what's this? Uh, this is the Japanese style room. Okay we can do there. This is the toilet. Yep, that's a nice toilet. <laughs> uh, this is the kitchen. Nothing here. And this is the bathroom. Literally the room with the bath, bath in it. In, uh, in Japan, they keep their toilet and their bath separate, which I think is bloody brilliant because when you're taking a bath, who wants someone knocking on the door and be like, I gotta take a shit. They're like, hell no, I'm relaxing in here. <laughs> All right, let's head up to the second floor. Okay, so we have Shiryuki's room. Ooh, creepy. Okay, we have the balcony. Ooh. Uh, we have Sumire, the pink girl and Akai, but we're not gonna talk to them just yet. I wanna talk to Kanazawa. Yes, there he is, he's yellow. Yo, Cutthroat, what do you want? He's already calling me the killer. You seem to have come to a misunderstanding. Shut up, I saw you. When we were drinking, you were the only one to leave. To Shiryuki. You, you monster! Kanazawa. Ever since I met this guy, he's had a beef with me. Because he has a quick temper, he's an idiot. He joined the club because Alki is the leader. Like a goldfish fan. I literally have no idea what that means. That's just, that's just what the translation is. But if you understand this Japanese idiom, please let me know. <laughs> But I have morals. I am not the murderer. That's exactly what a murderer would say, right? It would be good if you leave at once. He really does not want to hear my version of things. I need to get him to submit to me and listen to me. Okay? Get Kanazawa to listen to my version of the story. Okay, I see some things on... He's got a phone on here. Oi! What are you doing, huh? He's giving me such an intense look. 
I shouldn't touch anything in his room until he leaves. Yeah. So I guess we can't touch the two other items in the background. So let's leave. Um, I guess. Let's check out Alfie's room because he's not in there. Oh. <laughs> I like how everything's like color themed already to the characters. Like Alfie's room is all blue. I love it. An empty bag of potato chips. I guess he really is a simple guy since these are nori with salt flavor. Yeah, that's a very basic uh, flavor. <laughs> uh, nori is uh, dried seaweed. It's, it's quite good. Okay, what's in the suitcase? This is a handwritten report. Plans for the trip activities we are going to do. Or we're going to do. It looks like he really is your motto honor student. It looks like he has written that he wants to go to medical school. The details look very difficult. You can't make any sense of them. Okay, so we have his report now. Ah, uh, let's check out my room. Ah, uh, nothing in here. No bloody knives. <laughs> okay, let's check out Midori. Okay, let's talk to her. Shiryuki. This is bad. I want to go home. Mom. This is Midori. She is the most adult and gentlest member in our group. She is completely opposite to Sumire. She doesn't wear makeup and like to be natural kind of girl. Hey, are you alright? I'm sorry. I want to be alone. Okay. Let's check out her bag. What are you doing? Well, that, um... Dust. I don't see any. Maybe I can get her to be on my side. Ah, interesting. Okay, so now we checked everyone on the third floor. Let's head down. Let's go. Bleh. Let's head back to the second floor. <laughs> okay, let's talk to our BFF, Akai. I can't believe something like this has happened. What Khan has always said. Don't pay too much attention to it, okay? Yeah, thank you. This is Akai. Ever since he first entered university, he has been my best friend. I even invited him into the club. He always has my back. Well, I don't want to be rude, but I have a few, few things to do. Ah, I'll see you later then. Okay? Nice to know he got all back. Let's go check out Pink Lady Sumire. What? Can't you see I'm busy? This is Sumire. Just looking at her face, she seems to be just a gal. Uh, this is a Japanese fashion stereotype. But it seems that she likes Aoki. Kana Zara likes girls like her. Of course, I am nowhere near her level. It doesn't look like you're doing anything. Huh? You, the main suspect, have one second to get out of my room or I am calling Aoki. Got it? Even Sumire is calling me the murderer now, too. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. I guess we can go to the first floor. Maybe Alki is more chatty? Alki, are you done on the phone? Yeah, that was the police. This is Alki. He's a very good looking guy. I don't know if he has a girlfriend, though. But it doesn't seem like he doesn't want one. He might have had a girlfriend a while ago, but I only know him as a super serious club leader. Um, things were before. Huh? When Kanazawa was doubting me, didn't you defend me? Oh. I wasn't defending you back then. I just wanted the girls to return to their rooms quickly. Sumire is generally, as well as Midori, we're probably going to go into shock. That's why. Anyway, I've been considering Kanazawa too. It would be good to only consider the guys for now. That's right. I'm sorry, but could you call Kanazawa down for me? He and I are going to be conducting a search, so I need to talk to him about some concerns I have. Ah, I got it. Perhaps Alki suspects Kanazawa? Yes, I can get Kanazawa out of his room with this. Let's go get him. Get Kanazawa for Alki. Okay, perfect. So let's head back to the third floor. 
Yes. Huh? You came back. You're, you're wrong. Alki wants to talk with you. Alki? Kanadara walks quickly past me and leaves the room. Yes, it's true. He is weak to Alki's commands. Huh? He left his phone on the table. Well, Kanazawa isn't here. I should look around the room a bit. Ah. Look around Kanazawa's room. Okay, let's check out the phone. The screen on the phone was left on. It's showing a message he sent to Shiryuki. Please, just try being my girlfriend for one week. Oi, get a life, lol. That's exactly what Shiryuki would say if she read that. Even if she's a normal girl, just shut him down like that. Ugh. So, Kanazawa asked Shiryuki out. That's an interesting development. Okay, well, let's click on this. This is a picture of Shiryuki. This guy, why is he walking around with something like this? It's a little strange. There's another picture hidden under the covers. Whoa! It's a really crumpled up picture of her. Was this all taken without her permission? This short-tempered idiot is really a stalker. There's no saving him. Awesome. And what's on the desk here? This is a diary? This is really an unexpectedly childish thing to do. Um, let's look inside. Blank month, blank day. The coffee I bought, I gave it to Alki. That guy, I hope he doesn't know that I put about the fake cockroach I put in there, lol. I placed the cockroach in when I was handing it to him. Aw yeah, if Alki knew, I wonder what he would have done. Looks like he did it. Aw, he put a fake cockroach in the coffee powder. Dum dum. Or the coffee beans, I guess. Depends, depends. It could be interesting. <laughs> so I think we have everything we need to take Kanazawa to town. He's a stalker. Yeah, let's, let's point fingers at the stalker. So now we click on this. All right, we're ready to go to town. Perfect. It's saving. So thank you everyone so much for watching and you know what let's get this show down on in the next episode Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later